Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissAnalog.com. Today I just want to do a quick book review uh, from Marty Brown's books. Uh, this is the first edition. It's still a really good book. Uh, you can find this one and low prices too, especially used. And this one. This one is uh, retail $70 on Amazon, I believe. But you can find it, you know, in the Kindle version, which is really cool. And I think it's just over $50, like 55 bucks, something like that. But there's used copies down. I've seen them $30 to $50. Uh, so, yeah, they're relatively inexpensive books. So the thing that's really cool about Marty Brown's books is that his, they're very approachable. If you're uh, just learning power supplies uh, or if you just want more of a almost conversational type book, uh, I think these are really good books because they're just easy to read and lots of diagrams. Now, a lot of times second edition has only added like a chapter or, you know, corrected some mistakes usually also. But, you know, in this case, I think this second edition is kind of a makeover. It's got a lot of new stuff and it seems like it's even laid out a little bit different. It's still got some of the similar things, some of the things you're used to as far as the, the readability and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, they're just good books. I'm going to show you the insides of both these books real quick. Uh, one of the things I like about them is the feedback. Uh, he kind of goes over that, the bully plots and about how to design your feedback, your control loops. And he just makes it pretty easy. And also the magnetic design, everything is, it reads easy. And it's not really super in-depth or anything like that, but it's enough to give you a good start and fill in some holes if you've already been doing some power spice for a while. So here, let's come over and take a look at it inside these books. All right, so this is what they look like. And, you know, they're not really thick books. This one is a soft bound. This one's a hard bound. I'm not sure if this comes in a hard bound or not, but uh, anyway, so... Yeah, let's just take a look at the first edition first, okay? Hey, one thing I wanted to show you. Look at that. I got an autograph. <laughs> I actually met Marty Brown, super nice guy. All right, so this is a Motorola series uh, and from the Academic Press. Let's just to check out the contents here. You know, why use power supplies, switching power supplies, but... Um, he talks about forward mode and flyback. Those are two of the real common, you know, switching power supplies, right? And then you can see how he talks about this. A walkthrough representative switching power supply. So the EMI filter, the bulk input, transformer switches, output rectifiers, output filter, current sense, voltage feedback, and control scheme. So, yeah, just really, you know, the basics, right? Switching power supply topologies. So he covers a bunch of the topologies there. And the semiconductors, power MOSFETs, uh, transistors. And also the voltage mode and current mode control ICs. Talks about those. And then magnetic components. Um, you know, forward flyback and mutually coupled. So he talks about the magnetics and uh, I'll just show you that real quick cross-regulation and some protection schemes and then miscellaneous topics like uh, power supply system grounds grounding so very important design clamps and snubbers uh, we'll go over that kind of stuff too and EMI stuff product safety considerations and then a whole bunch of things about how you might test load line regulation dynamics uh, hold up time, things like that. And then feedback stability. So we'll look at that section too because he does a really great job at that. And then he talks about uh, it, it's more of an introduction to resonant converters down here. And then he kind of ends it with switching power supply design examples. He has a flyback converter in here, a half bridge, and this is a resonant half bridge, quasi resonant, and another flyback. So there you go. And here's this preface. Okay, so let's just jump around the book and I'll show you a few stuff. One thing I want to show you is how useful I felt this book was. I've marked all the way through it. 
you know, I've got a whole bunch of markups that I've, I've done here. I mean, you can see how nice the diagrams are, how simple they are. And this is kind of a basic diagram, which I, I don't put a whole lot into this because you can really push the power more than, but basically flyback covers this range, high voltage, lower power, and then you go into half bridge and then full bridge. So uh, he just kind of breaks it down, kind of showing you where you would use what kind of design. And just to show you a simple uh, buck converter, shows you the waveforms and just has some equations, breaks it, just breaks it down really easy and simply. And again, you can see uh, where I found things important enough to mark. And in this section, it talks about vote seconds and kind of explains that. And you can see where I've marked it and gone over it twice. And this section, he's kind of showing how to snub, you know, unsnubbed, using a snubber, how you can dampen out that stuff. And so you can see the nice uh, diagrams he uses. And again, you know, easy to read. And in this section, just an example of rectifiers, uh, showing you the equivalent circuit diagram and a diagram showing you the kind of the parasitic elements and the real world curves you'll get and then shock key ultra fast fast recovery and standard and talks about the differences in those kind of diodes all right and then basic magnetism and ferromagnetism so again you can see that i've found important things and here's some diagrams uh, explaining the fields and you can see the nice history sees diagram and the way he breaks it down. Alright, you know how I like to point out grounding systems and right here he's kind of talking about power supply grounds and and that kind of thing. You can see all the highlighting I've done. So again, more diagrams on grounding and then he goes into clamps and snubbers. And here's a basic diagram of some uh, of hard voltage clamps and soft voltage clamps. Alright, so then when he gets into the uh, feedback stability, he breaks it down, shows you where the poles and zeros come from, you know, the things you have to watch for, and the equations, and just breaks it down really in a basic, easy to understand way to digest, I think. And he also goes into uh, some parasitics and how to, how to get rid of heat and talks about the heat sink kind of showing the diagrams here. And then he has some uh, examples step by step of how he designs the transformer so it makes it nice easy to follow. And then he has this example circuit so you can see it's using the uh, famous 3843 chip. Been around and still around. Alright, so let's just take a look inside his second edition. Oh, wow, look at that. I got another autograph, guys. <laughs> I love that. Super nice guy, as I said. No problem autographing the books. He came by to stop by a company I was working for, and I went and got my books so he could sign them for me. <laughs> okay, um, contents. You can see it's changed a little bit. He has the role of the power supply in the system and talks about some of the, the important parameters you, you want to look, think about and talks about linear regulator. And then the uh, pulse width modulated power supply and talks about forwards and flybacks and different kind of converters. And you can see the active output stages. He breaks down a whole bunch of different uh, things about the converters, the grounds inside the switch, switching power supply, wave shape techniques. So he's got an active clamp converter in here. So he's added a lot more information. And the appendices, he's got a thermal analysis and design. You can see how much detail. Uh, the feedback loop again, he goes into a lot of detail there. He does a great job. And now he introduces power factor correction as well. And then he's added a whole section for magnet magnetics. So, and then up here he's got noise control for EMI type stuff, and just talks about how you can how you can uh, lower your noise just from the design. All right, guys, this is in the preface, 
And I think this really says it all. The purpose of the book is not to advance the bastions of academia, but to offer tried and true design approaches implemented by, implemented by many engineers. So, yeah, it's just, you know, like I said, it's very practical. And as he points out here, it's, it's the cookbook method. It's, he's, he's really trying to break it down into steps, as you may have noticed, you know, in the first book. Now here's your buck converter, and he shows the, the loops, the power loops, and an important concept. And, you know, the waveforms here from the current and the inductor and the on-off cycles. Now from the first edition, he had a table similar to this, right? But now you can see he's added a lot more information in here. So he's got the buck converter, non-isolated converters in here. So he's added more stuff to his uh, diagram there. And you can just see... The equations he provides and how uh, you know how basic and simplified he makes it. All right, and this is uh, designing a forward mode transformer again, step by step approach. Now I did make a correction right here in the book, so uh, there was an error there. There's some more equations, some diagrams of the outputs, the different types of outputs you might have, and here's some more magnetic design information explaining uh, you know more about the magnetics and again you know cookbook type approach I guess you could call it but he shows how to sandwich your windings how to construct your transformer and here's more of that information alright and over here we have some tables and he's showing different control methods voltage mode versus hysteretic and current mode forward mode converters it talks about the issues and quasi resonant converters. So, yeah, breaking it down just to, uh, you know, make it bite sized chunks and easy to understand. All right, back to the feedback control loop stuff. Here's your basic uh, chip, your 3845 again, and showing how you come up with some of the equations. And here's some of the Bode diagrams. And a very practical. Uh, parts list not only showing the value of components but the voltage that you would want for uh, for these particular parts uh, whether it's tantalum ceramic yeah he really breaks it down so that you understand the difference between parts as well now in the other book you might remember the diode uh, here he has the rectifier losses and he's kind of gone into a little bit more detail on these curves and as I say, there's thermal analysis. There's more discussion on that as well. And there's a number of pages on this feedback loop compensation type information. Uh, so it goes into a lot of details. You might see it here. I'll just paste here a couple of pages so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So, you know, a lot of information here. And as I say, there's an EMI section. He's talking about comma mode section, differential mode section your Y capacitors, your X capacitors, combo choke, your differential chokes, and some typical curves you might expect. And he does spend some time to show you some uh, graphs, some EMI noise, and to talk about the difference between combo mode and differential mode. Alright guys, so let me know what you guys think about these books. If you've got them, if you've read them already, uh, you know, whatever. Just let me know uh, what you think about this. And, yeah, I hope this was interesting. And, like I said, easy to read books. Good for beginners. And even people with some experience that just want to fill some holes. So, there you go. Marty Brown. So, hey, I just want to say thanks to my patrons. I really appreciate you guys. And appreciate all you guys watching the videos. You become a patron. Uh, links down below so I really appreciate that and it helps support the channel to buy a bunch of projects I got a project going on right now I'm gonna you're gonna see some videos in the very short in a few days on on this uh, class D amp also I got I'm gonna review this EEV blog meter probably that's probably about a week away maybe uh, I'm not sure just got some other videos I got to finish up so hey thanks for watching see you next time